Hey guys, welcome back. Today I want to show you a brand new firearm that's being imported by Zenith Firearms. They're in Virginia. It's a U.S. based company. They're bringing in the new Gearson MC28. It's a striker fired polymer framed handgun. Has very familiar controls over here on the right hand side. It has no ambi controls over here on the left hand side. Has a slide stop, takedown lever, and magazine release. Again, it's a polymer framed, no manual safeties. You can see the three dot sights on it. Fires from a 15 round magazine. Have some ZQI 123 grain NATO spec ammunition loaded up into its 15 round mag. And we're going to fire a few rounds out of it. I have had the opportunity to fire the gun once about a week ago when I was in Virginia when they received their shipment. And uh, it worked great. We took it out in the countryside, fired it a little bit. And now I've got one here in my possession back here in Indiana. I'm going to try to see how it works. I'm probably going to take it south with me when I go down and see a 22 Plinkster here very shortly as well. So let's see how the handgun shoots. Let's take the MC-28 apart and take a look inside of the handgun. To make the gun safe, drop the magazine out, pull the slide to the rear, lock it to the rear with the slide stop. This is your disassembly lever. Just rotate it down, let the slide stop go. When the slide comes to its normal resting position, pull the trigger, release the striker, and separate the upper from the lower. Here's your polymer lower, and we'll set it aside. And here's the upper. It has a captive recoil spring and then push up on the hood and take your one piece stainless steel barrel out. Typical standard browning type action, conventional button rifled barrel, it's not polygonal, and you can see the machining on the gun. Very nicely done machining, very clean, very simple design, external extractor, serrations front and rear. Put it back together, drop the barrel in, Take your recoil spring, put it back together like that, grab your lower. You'll notice the slide rails are steel. Pull it to the rear, lock it to the rear, return the disassembly lever to its at rest position there. And quick function, function check here. And your 15 shot metal magazine. That's it. This afternoon I'm out here shooting the ZQI, Turkish made ammunition. It's also imported by Zenith Corporation, the same people that import the MC-28. 123 grain NATO spec ammunition. This stuff is loaded fairly hot. You used to be able to find it at Walmart, now you can get it at ZQIAmmo.com. All right, so what's really nice about the MC-28 is that it ships with a whole bunch of accessories, including three magazines. They are steel magazines, as I pointed out, 15 rounds. Oops, don't know what failed to uh, lock open there, if that was me or the gun, probably me. You'll notice where my thumbs ride on a lot of handguns, right there. So sometimes I hit that slide stop and prevent it from locking to the rear. Yeah, it's definitely me causing it not to lock open. Anyway, the handgun runs flawlessly. I've had no issues with it, but then again, I've only put about 200 rounds through it. I haven't fired it a whole bunch. I just got it, plan on shooting it a lot more, but uh, yeah, this is the first time I've had it out to the range by myself. The last time I had it out to the range, I was with the Zenith guys right after they got their first shipment of these guns. They're gonna retail for right around, MSRP is $399, so they'll, they'll be a lot less than that once they make it to the shelves of your local gun shop. So it's a very affordably priced handgun. 
I believe Gearson, this is their first striker fired pistol, so it's really interesting to see. You know, the Turks build a lot of firearms. They build shotguns, rifles, and handguns. And, you know, they do have MKE, which is building the roller lock guns that you'll see uh, featured here on the Military Arms Channel when I toured their factory in Turkey uh, earlier in, in the year. I didn't get a chance to check out Gearson while I was there, so this is really the first time I've spent any time with a Gearson handgun. I will say, as with a lot of the Turkish guns I've fired in the past, the quality certainly seems to be there. It seems to be a quality handgun, certainly for the price. So, if you're looking for an affordable handgun, keep your eyes out on this one. I can't render an opinion on it just yet. I just got it. But so far, so good. This is the box that the MC-28 ships in. Let's take a look inside. It has quite a bit of stuff in here, not to mention that it's bright red. I won't get it confused for any other gun cases in your collection. Inside, got a cleaning cloth, and then the pistol. The pistol has a magazine in it, then you'll have two additional 15-shot magazines. We have a thunderstorm rolling in and a magazine loader right here. An oil bottle, a lock to lock the pistol up, a cleaning rod, polymer, and then two brushes. Have a plastic bristled brush and then a steel bristled brush in there. And then you have the two additional grip panels, which allow you to customize the gun to your grip. Three total with the one that's on the gun. And here's something that was a little bit different. Here you have 20 holes. It's a box of shells. Typically when you buy defensive ammunition it'll be sold in a box of 20 and you can put them in here. But another useful feature I think that I would wind up using this for instead is when I'm using it as a carry gun I have specific ammunition I carry in the firearm. That ammunition can cost a buck, a buck fifty a round. Well, when I take those rounds out to shoot ball rounds when I practice, I usually stick them in my pocket and they're loose. I wind up losing them all the time. Now I can put my defensive ammunition in here, load up with ball rounds, shoot it, come back, and I won't have lost any of that expensive ammunition. So anyway, that's what comes in the case, all this for that MSRP of $399, which seems to be like a fairly decent deal. Close it up, and off to the range you go. Look at all those mosquitoes, good grief. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to finish this up here really quickly. We've got a pretty nasty thunderstorm moving in, starting to rain pretty good. But I just wanted to tell you that I will be shooting this pistol a lot more. I'm gonna take it with me on the road. I'm gonna be heading down to Eric's. Uh, that's the YouTube shoot that's coming up. It's the Iraq Veteran 8888 YouTube shoot, heading down for that. Then I'm going down to the Big Three event in Florida. I'm gonna bring this pistol with me, do quite a bit of shooting and have some other folks shoot it and give me their input as well. Until then, uh, if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, you can ask those questions on our Facebook page. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash military arms. Also, please come by and check out Copper Custom. It's our online store. If you want to support the Military Arms channel, it's the best possible way. A lot of great products at great prices. And please check out full30.com. That's full30.com. We've taken all the web's best firearms content creators and brought them under one roof, which is, again, full30.com. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and we'll talk to you guys soon.